welcome to Pac-Man Anniversary Edition, the demo. You can't, we have Quest, Maze and Classic. You can't play Classic on the demo version, but you can play Maze. And Maze, you get a bonus Maze and you get a lot of fireballs and ghosts to watch out for, like in Classic Pac-Man. But uh, it's a bit more updated and if you get hit by any of those fireballs and you lose a piece of health, if you get touched by a ghost, you actually lose a piece of health as well instead of die. So to sort of uh, change the rules a little bit on the uh, on this game, but uh, the main the main game is still the same, and your main objective is still the same as well, which is to hunt down as many ghosts as you can, and collect all as many pack dots as you can. It's all pack dots in this game, and whoa, <laughs> almost got hit by a fireball. Alright, there is 100 uh, Pekka Dots in this uh, stage, so collect as many of them as you can without getting tracked by the ghosts. Alright, doing well. Oh, I'm going to get trapped again. Alright, I've got 92 out of 100, and I'm on my last piece of health. Okay, I died. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go around here. Take the last couple of packer dots, and then that will be the maze part of the demo complete. Now we go into quest mode after the thank you for playing screen, and in quest mode there is a basic training level as well, and one full level. The one full level will be on part two. Here is the training level, and the training level. It's pretty neat, set out quite differently compared to other Pac-Man games. Alright, the main objective is still the same, capture the ghosts, but of course you must uh, complete the level as well in order to uh, to uh, continue in the game. Alright, I'm just going to collect the rest of these Packer Dots and then we'll continue up ahead to find out our next section of the game. Alright, that's about it for that uh, area. There's two bananas up the top, by the banana tree, collect them, then jump up here. Alright, doing well. I'm going to kill this dude and this dude as well by uh, doing a jump and a stomp, which uh, kills the enemies. Right, now I'm just going to collect a couple of cherries from the uh, water here. Uh, Pac-Man can dive around the water or he can jump across. He can jump across by holding down X or he can dive by pressing square. Step on the switches to activate special... Uh, oops! <laughs> special items. That sort of uh, got messed up there. I'll try that again. <laughs> Uh, jump up here, press that, slam that button down, and wait for the drawbridge to come down. That's what I, did, I sort of rushed it a little. <coughs> you got to be quick on some switches because they tend to uh, go in reverse as well. All right, that's a jump up here. Now hold down X, up press X, and then press X again when you hit the next platform to do a combo. Alright, now we go into this chest and get what we call a invisibility power-up. This invisibility power-up is actually quite good underneath the water as well. Alright, just going to jump around here, collect a couple of these uh, oranges, and then that should give me a couple of points. Alright, now I'm going to have to collect that final orange with normal Pac-Man, and hopefully I can grab it. <laughs> Alright, you get about 300 points for an orange, quite a, quite a lot for a banana, and cherries are worth 100, and not quite sure what the other ones are worth. Alright, hold down square, and you can do a, you can do a roll to make yourself uh, go further. Alright, hold down square again to open up that gate. Oh, a bit too early there. Try that again. Alright, I should make it through now. <laughs> Sometimes you can get killed if a uh, obstacle hits you. Okay, 
hold down square again to activate these uh, special pads. Alright, avoid the cannonballs as well, those things can actually hurt you. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, the death animation on Pac-Man is exactly the same, that uh, funny noise, even on quest mode. Alright. Of course, X is to jump, and you have to save the switches as well to activate the triggers. Alright, wait for that platform to go across, and then I'll jump across. Sweet! Now we have a gate here. You need to uh, have an item to activate that gate. The gate can unlock special uh, items and events along the way. Alright. Get that uh, pack of dots and get, grab that guy for 200 points. Alright, it's into the training level and we get our victory ceremony and a couple of interesting bits and pieces like a slot machine. The more pack of dots you collect, the closer it gets to the green arrow. And with the green arrow, there's more chances of uh, getting a combo. Alright, thank you for watching the the training mode and part one as well.